Hey. Hey. Welcome to another video. <laughs> This is the shortest and sweetest video you're probably ever gonna watch from me. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Who knows what the future holds for Unicorniture Co. But what I'm trying to say is this upcycle that I did a couple weeks ago, as you may have seen on Unicorniture Co.'s Instagram, this cute wicker chair. So this chair came to me from my mama, the queen of thrift shopping, state sale shopping, vintage shopping, antique shopping, finding people on Facebook shopping. She is just so good at buying stuff, antiques stuff. Anyways, so that's where this chair came from. It was actually from Goodwill. Uh, the tag on there, it was $4.99 quite the steel. Initially, when I saw this chair, I did not know what to do. Um, that's usually, that's usually, you know, that's usual. Yeah, that's usual with a lot of my projects, but chairs in particular, as I mentioned in my first chair upcycling video, I just, you know, I get stumped. And well, I figured something out, at least I thought, so the plan, in my head was I was gonna go ahead and sand it down, stain the chair that adorable aqua color from the kitchen table upcycle. But unfortunately, as you can see here, I did some sanding and I got the power sander out and I did quite a bit of sanding on one leg, but the red would just not come out. So I'm not sure what it was, you know, factory done, I'm not sure. Um, but the red would just not come out. So that kind of spoiled my plans. So I ditched the power sander because why use it if I wasn't going to sand all the way down to the natural nude wood. And I just decided to go ahead and hand sand the entire thing. I just went ahead and I scuffed it up. I didn't really try to get any of the color off. It was just, I needed to scuff it up enough because I decided to once again use chalk paint. Yeah, I don't know what happened, y'all. I was not a chalk paint fan, and then I used chalk paint, and now I own chalk paint. I own one can of chalk paint, okay? Just one can. But it was an expensive can, and I'm gonna use it, damn it. I'm gonna use it. So I use our bare chalk paint in the color white. Um, once again, love it. It took a few layers, but Letting it dry and then going over again is what really helps to seal the deal and to not be able to see through the chalk paint. So that's what I did. I went ahead with the chalk paint and I used like three layers, I wanna say. Um, easy peasy, no big deal. And then with the chalk paint dry, I, yes, you guessed it, I went over the chalk paint with our one and only bare paint decorative wax from our kitchen upcycle video and our gray fluffy chair video. Um, super easy, you just apply it and remove it or buff it or whatever. I'm not really sure the science behind it. And put the seat back on and boom, you got yourself a wicker chair. Super cute. Now, when I painted it, I put just some scrap newspaper, magazine stuff that comes in the mail that because I don't get real mail because I'm not a grown up. Thank goodness. One of the pieces that I used was from Sephora, their little insider thing. If you, I don't know, I don't shop there, but you know. Anyways, so that Sephora thing had polka dots on it because that's like Sephora's thing. And, um, well, I was thinking, you know, that the chair probably would have looked way cooler with polka dots. So maybe in the future, one might put polka dots on the chair if one can figure out how to make perfect polka dots. Mm -hmm. But for now, it's gonna stay the boring little white cute wicker chair that it is until I figure out, I mean one, figures out how to put polka dots, perfect polka dots and get some black paint. Uh, yeah. 
So that's our wicker chair. Here she is, all done and beautiful in her glory. For those of you who don't know, Unicorn Day is April 9th. And I was, you know, I'm a unicorn fan. So I was thinking for Unicorn Day, I could show you around, not my whole house, I don't think, because, you know, I'm not at that phase yet. And who wants to even see that? But I could show you some of my unicorn collection in honor of Unicorn Day. So expect that video on April 9th. Anyways, thanks everybody for watching. If you got anything out of this, like and subscribe. Thank you so much for your support. Today's shout out goes out to my mom. So thanks mom for the chair and for always contributing to the Unicorniture Co. cause and donating your furniture finds to me. I really appreciate it and I appreciate you and I love you and thanks. So bye everybody.